Well, Jean Skyshema, wanted in connection with the 1994 Rwandan genocide, will make his second court appearance this morning. It's alleged that Skyshema played a significant role in the planning and execution of genocide of more than 2,000 Tutsis in 1994. A multidisciplinary team, which includes Interpol, arrested him at a grape farm in Paul last month. He was living under a false name. News from Africa's Nasipi Same joined us live from Cape Town this morning ahead of his court appearance. Nasipi, good morning. What can we expect today? Morning, Michelle. Well, what came out last week was that uh, five charges were, or rather, Flugence uh, Keshama faces five charges and they all relate to him being in the country uh, illegally. We understand from authorities that um, in 2004 when he applied uh, for his refugee status he gave authorities a wrong name. Two years later we understand that uh, he tried to apply for an asylum seeker status and again he used the wrong name indicating that he was from Burundi. That's where the five charges stem from and the fact that he was in the country illegally. We do know that as much as the matter was postponed to today, uh, NPA indicated that uh, there is a possibility of uh, more charges being added from the five that he faces and this is because when they arrested him on the 24th of May um, in a grape farm in Pal. Uh, authorities or law enforcement agencies uh, found additional information that then warranted them to add additional charges. We do also understand that um, the rest stems from the fact that he was on the red list um, and wanted by the International Criminal uh, tribunal for Rwanda, uh, which was issued rather in the, on the 8th of May in 2019, and as you mentioned, in relation to the genocide of, of 1994 that claimed the lives of about 2,000 uh, uh, Hutsis or Tutsis rather, in uh, Rwanda, where we understand that uh, they were seeking refuge in a church. So um, basically what we do know is that those five charges and possibly more charges will be added today. And of course, um, the court process here in South Africa, Nasipi, is key to uh, the next steps that will unfold insofar as the Rwanda National Prosecuting Authority and getting him back to that country to face charges. Indeed, Michelle. I mean, as you mentioned, the authorities uh, that uh, worked together in arresting him uh, on the 24th of March in PAL um, had local authorities, including Rwandan authorities and Interpol, including the Hawks, um, that arrested him on that particular day. Um, so, indeed, this is just the first step um, in regards to having him stand trial at the International Tribunal um, Court. Nasibi Sameh live to us there at the uh, Magistrates Court where Fuljan Skyshema will be appearing for a second time today. Nasibi, thanks very much indeed for that update.